This YCN segment is brought to you by LaValle Building Supply and Middleton Building Supply. The Springfield boys were able to control play for the majority of the match, as the Terriers weren't able to get many shots on goal. But Bellows Falls' defense, despite allowing many scoring chances, were stingy, as they held off Springfield's attackers for much of the first half. It was around the 25-minute mark when Max Levinsky crossed the ball in front of the Terriers' net. He found Dakota Bushy who scored easily, tapping the ball in. Only a few minutes later, Bushy scored again, but this time from farther out, after Tristan St. Cyr passed to him up the field. Bushy made a strong kick and it just snuck past the goalie to put the Cosmos up 2-0. to zero. Jared Few also then found the back of the net just before halftime, which put them up by three. In the second half, the game was more evenly matched, with the Terriers creating some scoring opportunities. But Springfield's defense was solid, with goalie Chris Gurney leading his team to a shutout. Colin Bishop managed to score another goal for the Cosmos, as Springfield went on to win by a final score of 4-2-0. After the game, we caught up with Springfield's head coach as well as Bushy and LaFleur to get their take on the win. Certainly today was a lot of, you know, we've been working on a lot of different elements during the course of the season. Communication, um, certainly conditioning showed up big time for us today, so that was a big key element. Um, and I think that going in the long run, um, just bringing that energy to every game helps a lot. And certainly our up top man, Dakota Bush, he scored two goals early on that really kind of set the path. And then Jared Pugh, uh, freshman, he's doing unreal stuff right now. Um, he's been a, quite a good leader for a young guy like himself, and I think he's got a lot of potential going forward. Our defense has been really great this year. I think that's probably our fourth or fifth shutout this season, so we're doing really good things on the defensive end, and we have a lot of rotation that we can work with. So they're very, they're consistent. They, they always follow through. Um, certainly they've only allowed a handful of shots in each game, so that says a lot about their rapport as well. To continue to win, I think we just need to keep our heads up and just got to keep moving, got to keep working. I think our strength of schedule, it, it's tough for us because we don't get to see a lot of the Division II teams. So moving forward, we still have to play at that intensity and that level all the time, consistently. Um, when we have to play our ball, we have to play more possession ball moving forward. Um, certainly those teams up north and then in Division II are much more um, composed and we have to play at that level as well. I think the key to the game today was our defense is really rock solid. Uh, they shut out the game and um, our midfield and offense connected and although we didn't score a lot of goals, we created a lot of chances. Uh, one of them, I just made a run across the middle and Max Leminski made a great pass and uh, another one, Tristan St. Cyr passed me. I had an opening and shot from far out. We tried to work on being vocal throughout the season and it really showed tonight because we couldn't really hear the other team. Uh, that was definitely key to success. Yeah, our defense did a great job. They won every 50-50 ball in the air, it seems like. We had a few close chances where it slipped to our defense, but our goalie really kept us in, Chris Green. Oh, we just need to continue to play our game and uh, not play down to teams' levels and just keep possessing the ball. Today, we were keeping uh, most of the possession on the other side's third and we were getting shots off and chances. I thought Chris Gurney, our goalkeeper, played very well. He had some incredible saves and kept us in the game and we had our goal scorers who kept us in, Dakota Bushy being one and Colin Bishop. They played very well. Springfield improved to 5-5-1, five, five, and one, while Bellows Falls fell to 1-8-1. One, and one. The Terriers will next visit Black River, while the Cosmos will travel to take on Twin Valley. Cosmos on three. One, two, three, Cosmos!